hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon. All righty. So happy that I now have my Facebook live, not Facebook, YouTube live going so that I can just go live, uh, post, and be done with it. Uh, give me just a moment and I will allow you guys to get on and I'll be right back. Sleepy. All right, let me find this little door so I can show you that it came off. And then let me grab a syringe because I forgot to. All righty. Okay. So I'm going to try and tilt this a little bit more. I feel like it's cricket. Please excuse the mess. <laughs> Alrighty. So first things first, I'm going to zoom in, gonna bring the camera down so that you can see exactly what I'm going to. And zoom out a little bit. Okay. So you're going to go over to settings. Okay. You're going to go to maintenance. Then you're going to go to ink cartridge replacement. Start and you're going to open it up. All right. Once it does its thing as far as going back, I'm gonna zoom in. Wish I can get a little bit closer into my closet, but I can't. Okay, so if you guys notice, I don't have the thingy on my printhead uh, car uh, carrier car carriage. That's this. It comes off. So. Right where this hinge is, right here, um, it connects, you know, you'll see a little hole in there. It's going to be really hard now because the little one decided he was tired and I have to now hold him. Um, but right here, so if you, I can't do it with both hands. I'm so sorry, y'all. If you just put like one hand on the hinge and another one like and pull back. So I'm not sure if you can see, hold on, let me adjust this some. You see that moves. So it will move enough to get this hinge out. Once this one's out, you pull this one out, it's there. You don't have to break it to get it off or anything. You can see um, the hinges are still intact on this. Hold on. Whoa. So, see? Still intact. You don't have to break it off. Just pull it and take it off. You don't have to put it back. I just keep that over there just for the hell of it. But um, because I'll never send mine back to Epson. I have the protection plan through Best Buy. They don't care how the condition of it because they're not sending it back to Epson. So they don't even care if the door's on there. All that stuff doesn't have to work when you have the protection plan from either Best Buy, Amazon, um, Staples. The one that you pay for, it doesn't matter the state of the printer. So once you have it like this, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take some paper towel. Okay. And you're going to fold it in half. You can probably use two as well. Hold on. Um, I'm going to put two on here. So just gonna sandwich it and then fold it over. 
Now this part, um, someone's going to whine because I can't push it with him in my hands. So I do apologize in advance if the little one starts to whine. So you're just going to sit that inside the well like that, okay? All right, give mommy two seconds, okay? Two seconds. Oh, okay, buddy, you're sleepy. I know, I know. It's okay, buddy. You're so sleepy, I know. Okay, sit right here in the chair for mommy, okay? Uh-oh. Sit in the chair, and then mommy pick you right back up, okay? Sit right here in the chair. Mommy's right here. It's okay. Mommy, come right back, okay? Mommy just needs to push this over, and then mommy pick you up. Oh, I'm so sorry about this crazy video, y'all. Sorry. All right. Let me fix my leg real quick on my tripod. And I'm going to try and get you a little bit closer. All right, there. This is as good as it's going to get. So the paper's down in there, right? You're going to take this. Once it has, um, you know, it's no longer in the locked position, hold on, it will move. See? It moves. So you're going to hold down the paper towel, like on the edge a little bit, and push this over it well if it's too wide so that's probably why it does need to go like almost like in threes so i probably don't need them these are bigger normally we have the select a size one and i'll use two but this is the regular size paper towel so i'm going to fold it kind of like in three you just want to make sure that it fits in the well to where the print head carriage can go over it so we're going to put that like that okay and we're going to push it down and push this over it. All right. It may take a couple tries just to make sure the end of it is down and you're getting it over it. And now I'm over. I can see it on the other side. So just watch. I'm just going to pull it so that it's right under there. Okay. So now that's over it. The, the print, the paper towel is under there. Okay. You're now going to take your syringe no needle on it you're going to pull it all the way up all right now this part i can do you want me huh you want this or you want your car okay come on all right so you want this pulled all the way up and make sure you're using one that's for that color you're gonna take it, your vent hole in the back, you're going to find that and twist it down in there, it will stay. So you don't take anything out, your vent hole is open, that's the air hole in the back, you just push it in there. You know, twist, kind of twist it down in there to make sure it's in there. Then you're just going to push down on your plunger. You will feel a little bit of resistance, it's okay. Just don't push too fast, don't push too much. So you're going to push down on your plunger and then you'll start to feel a little resistance. When you feel the resistance, that means that the ink is coming out the other side. So we're just going to push down a little bit more. All right, you see it pops back up by itself. I'm going to move this to the side, hold down the paper towel, push it to the side, and I'm going to check to see if I see any ink, which if you get look right there, Hold on, right there, I see ink. That means it's coming through. You know, you can leave it there and maybe push it again if you want. If, if you have more than one color that was messed up, you can now do the other colors. You don't have to do it on one paper towel. So you're just going to go ahead and push it. Don't push too much. It will kind of come back on you and the ink will come out of the cartridge. So don't push too much. Just want enough to where you can see the ink coming through. You know, and if it was really, really bad, you know, maybe push it through again. You'll feel the resistance. And that's how you know the ink is coming out and you're pushing that air through. Once you're done with that, go ahead and carefully just pop that off. It should be no ink anywhere. Go ahead and push the print head carriage back. 
take your paper towel out, you should see the ink. That lets you know that there is no major clog in your print head, that the ink is flowing, and that should push out any ink. Once you do that, go ahead, close it up, run a print head cleaning, and then, um, of course, do the nozzle check and see the state of your lines. If the lines are still messed up, you can do one more print head cleaning to see, you know, if you can just, you know, you're just repriming the print heads to get all that ink through. If it does not, like if the lines are still really, 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 really bad, then do not um, do like a bunch of print head cleanings. Repeat the process of pushing the ink through whichever um, cartridge is still messed up. Mine wasn't. I have a video um, that I did before, but it was like the roofers were here and, and my cyan was really messed up. I don't know what was wrong with it. And then um, I never actually came back to it. I just did a regular print and then it just started working. Uh, but it will clear it up. I think this might be the, the, yeah. So this is from that video where, you know, my cyan was messed up like, like two weeks ago. But I just printed and then it just worked itself out. And then this one I printed the, what's this thing called? The purge print and it just fixed itself. So so now, uh, right now, I don't know. That's kind of weird that it went through. It's saying it's going through an initializing process, which is kind of weird. It never really does that because I normally have to initiate the print head cleaning myself. But uh, the initializing process and the print head cleaning, it's the same thing. So I won't have to do another print head and my line should come out fine because there was no issue with them uh, before this, but I wanted to show you guys how to do it um, and also utilize YouTube live since I can do that now and I won't have to like um, pull it on my, to my computer and edit it and all that kind of good jazz and then get it uploaded. It's an instant upload. But once it goes through that, like I said, you'll do... Um, when it does the initializing like this, it won't give me the option to, you know, print a nozzle check. I don't believe it does. When you do the actual print head cleaning, you know, at the end, it will give you the, um, it'll ask if you want to do a nozzle check and you'll say yes. With this one, because it doesn't, what you'll do is just go to settings, uh, maintenance, and the first option is the nozzle check. You'll do your own, not like you'll initiate the nozzle check yourself. But that's how you push the air through the cartridges if you ever have an issue and you have like a bunch of broken lines um, and you've done a couple print head cleanings. It's still not work like it's still giving you a bunch of lines. You'll do that. You'll push the air through it and uh, one or two cycles. It should be cleared after that. All right. Um, I don't know how long this process takes. I don't remember because I kind of wanted to print a. Ooh print a nozzle check for you guys but I also don't want to be on long unnecessarily because there's really nothing left to the tutorial part Give me one second. I'll just wait for that to finish. There we go, replacement complete. We're gonna hit okay. So see, it doesn't give you the option. So we're going to, when I just, I was already under setting. So once I just went back, the first one is print head uh, nozzle check. 
And you can do that. A lot of people don't know that you can just print a nozzle check without having to do the, um, like a full on print head cleaning. Just do a nozzle check. If you ever print something and your colors seem to be off, uh, there seems to be colors missing, just do a nozzle check so that you can see what color is missing. So we're just going to hit start and it's going to print and you'll see the state of your nozzles because you may not have to do this process on every color, just the colors that are messed up. Oh, and see, I need to do, I, I actually messed mine up because I created lines in mine. So we're just going to, uh, I'm gonna actually do a real, a full on uh, print head cleaning right now. I think I also pushed a little bit too much cyan because I got a little bit on my black. I'm sure you guys can see that. So I'm just gonna do another print head cleaning and then it should be okay after that. If you guys have any questions, feel free to go ahead and post them since this one is live. It's not a pre-recorded video. So if you have any questions um, about this process, please you know, feel free to go ahead and post your questions. Um, also, um, while this is going through the print head cleaning, um, if you are new to this channel and if you, you know, just click on it from a link that I posted over on Facebook, I do, will be doing, you know, a lot of demos and uh, different tutorials here on this channel. This is my Elite Prints and Creations. This is the one for anything that's like not specifically for Silhouette. I also have Silaholics Anonymous, which is where I do my tutorials for Silhouette Studio. So if you want to learn how to use that program, that channel is there. You know, I welcome you to hit the subscribe button for both channels as well as the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I release new content or whenever I go live um, and things like that. Okay. One second. <laughs> See, I even had blue on the back of that. I um, probably pushed a little bit. Well, my paper towel probably wasn't thick enough to where it got ink um, on the bottom of it. Because that's a different type. So um, if you have one and you're going to use like a regular, you're going to fold it like in threes, maybe take another one and like cut it in half and put it in there or try and get the two. And when you fold it, you just want enough to where it doesn't soak all the way through and it's going to get on your um, sponge part on the inside or start to really like mess up the other colors. I like my select a size one because <laughs> it's almost like when you fold it, it's almost like getting four layers of um, four, like almost like getting four layers of the paper towel. Also, um, like the video, share the video. If you're in groups and um, anyone has any issues um, like this, feel free to go ahead and share this video with them. All right, so yes, we want to print it, start, and oh, it's not all the way in. Okay, and go. Yeah. 
Yay, all done. That's what I said. See, sometimes it may take another prayer head cleaning to get it to work, but now no blue over here. My cyan, well, my, nothing was wrong with my cyan before. I think I kind of created that issue when I pushed the air through just to do the video. But as you can see now, all of my lines are there and we are good to go. All right. Um, so I didn't see any questions posted. Hopefully this video was informative for you guys. Again, I might invite you guys to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, like the video, share the video. All right, guys, thank you for the support. Have a great one.